In this question, we are going to multiply x to the 1 over 4 power times the parentheses 2 times x to the 1 over 2 power minus x to the 1 over 4 power. So the idea is that we will take this and then distribute it into the parentheses and we'll get going from that. So let's see, for the first part, when we have this times that, this is like 1 times 2, so we have the 2. And then we will also do x to the 1 over 4 times x to the 1 over 2, where the base x will stay the same. And what should we do with the exponents to figure out the new exponent? When we multiply, we are going to add the exponents. So let me put down 1 over 4 right here. And then we need to add it with 1 half. So we are adding fractions. And how do we add fractions? On the second one, we need to multiply the bottom by 2 and also multiply the top by 2. So we can have the same denominator 4, right? So here, this is going to be 1 over 4, let me write it down right here. This is 1 over 4 plus 2 over 4. So 1 over 4 plus 2 over 4, we can say that's going to be 3 over 4, right? Right, and I'll take this, multiply with negative x to the 1 over 4. So this is positive times negative, we have minus. Once again, the x will stay the same. But then in this case, we will have to add the exponents again. So let me put down 1 over 4 plus 1 over 4. And this time, the denominators are the same already. So this is just going to be 2 over 4. But then I can write this down as what? 1 half, right? Because 2 over 4 reduced to 1 half. All right, so this right here is how we can present your answer with the uh, fraction exponent. But then, if you want to write this down as a radical notation, we have to pay attention to a denominator. So this is the over 4 right here, and then this right here is the over 2 right here, right? The denominator of the power is going to be the radical, okay? So in this case here, for the first part, we will have the fourth root. So this right here is going to be the fourth root. And let me write down the things that we have in the front, which is this 2. And then we still have the x to the third power inside. So this is how you change it. For the second one, we have minus. And then the over 2 becomes the square root, right? And you don't need to put on a square. I can just put on the root like this. When you put on root, if there's no number, it means there's a 2 already. You don't need to bother to put on a 2. Anyways, the inside is just going to be x to the first power. Once again, you don't need to put on this one, you can just relieve it like x. So this is how you can present your answer with radical notation. 2 times the fourth root of x to a third power minus the square root of x. That's it.